Hi Snooker fans, Curtis Breakaway here for Q Sports Stock Club. I'm at the Northern Snooker Centre to do a Q&A session with likeable lad, Sanderson Lamb. Sanderson, how are you son? I'm alright, Kurt, are you? Yeah, good pal, good. Now tell us in the beginning mate, what made you take up snooker? Well, at the beginning, me and my dad, we ended up playing English pool, and then we moved on to American pool, then finally we went on to snooker, and um, ever since ever since then I've just never looked back. And um, yeah, snooker, ever, ever since then, we just fucking play it all the time and like, yeah, really, really loved it from there. Good stuff. Now today, who's had the most influence on your career? Um, again, I'll probably say my dad. Um, he, he was just wanting me to do well all the time and um, I'm so lucky to be here at Leeds as well. The amount of players that come in, it just makes you more influenced. You know, you just want to be the best and like, yeah, it's, that's probably it. Yeah, it's my first time coming to Northern Snooker Centre, man. It's an awesome club, I mean, it's beautiful, mate. Yeah. Blessed how 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 big it is and how how lucky we are. Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. Great stuff. Now tell us, what are your goals for the coming season? Um, just probably do my best. Obviously, I've I've been on the tour year now, and um, everyone knows how hard it is. So I'm just going to try and win as many matches as I can, and just go from there. Really, I can't expect much, but obviously I'm just going to do my best, and that's all I can do. Okay, pal. Now, what cue do you currently use? Um, I use a drum Powers ultimate at the minute. And what tip? I use an Elk Master. Um, ever, I've, I've tried loads of tips, you know what I mean? It's like there's so many tips out there, but I've always just gone back to Elk. It's so reliable, and I've never, yeah, it's, Elk's the one for me. Good man, good man. Now, I know you've not been on the tour too long, but like you said, it's your second season this year. But yeah. What's your most memorable match in your career so far? It's probably um, getting on the tour. Yeah, I, I'll, I played in the EBSA playoffs. Yeah. And um, I ended up qualifying in Sheffield. I won my last match 4 2. And uh, the feeling you get when you, when you turn professional, it's just every player's dream, obviously. Just, you just want to get up there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Be professional. Yeah, it's, that was a really good, Excellent. really good memory. Excellent stuff, yeah. mate. Now tell us, mate. I'm sorry to ask you this one, uh, but it's a question I have to pal. What's your most painful defeat? Um, it's probably. It has, it has to be losing the world championship qualifier to your to your mate with Mathlin. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was nine, nine five down. I, I played out my skin to go nine eight, and I, really, I had two very good chances to go nine each, but just couldn't just couldn't get over the line, and it was it was so hard to get over. But yeah, it's just a learning curve for me. But yeah, that was that was very hard to get through. Well, oh, pal, yeah, I was sat there watching the game. It was a great game to watch, to be it's fair. Tough. Um, tough, tough. Matt swung from side to side, but hey, yeah, of course. look, you've got him in, in the international qualifiers in a couple of weeks' time. So Hopefully, get some revenge. That's yeah. it, you got a chance for a bit of revenge, mate. <laughs> chance, mate. Now, tell us, pal, who's the toughest player on tour to beat, in your opinion? In my opinion, I've played quite a few top players in, in my time. Um, I've played Selby a lot of times, and he's just a tough nut to crack. He's just so good. Even when he's not playing his best, he can just win comps. Like you can play a C game, and it's, it's so hard to beat. Yeah, just sell me probably that's it. Yeah, he's definitely a tough nut to crack the old jester, isn't he? Yeah, you could say that. Now, what's your best personal achievement in snooker to date? Um, like I said, just turning professional as well. I think that was a, that. I think that'll be with me um, a long time. Uh, ever since I was little, I just wanted to be professional, just competing for the top boys. So I think that's that's probably mine. Nice one, mate. Now you're a very, very likable lad. Uh, you got quite a bit of banter about you, and uh, even me and you have become quite close over that yeah, yeah. over yeah. the last year or so. You're yeah. a top lad. Uh, tell us who your best friend on tour is. Um, I'd probably say, probably say Oliver. Yeah. yeah um, Oliver. Uh, we've been we've been playing since ever, ever since we were kids. We've been growing up, obviously playing here, and um, we was in lots of junior comps, under 16s, under 18s. Ever since it was like this height, it's just uh, yeah, probably all of them. There's, I'm quite close with his with his dad as well, Peter. Yeah, quite close with his, yeah. I'm quite close with Peter as well. Yeah, we look after each other. We've got our backs and stuff. I've got quite a lot of friends, you know, down south as well. A lot, a lot, a lot of good mates. I've got. I'm, I'm quite close with Hamid Mia. I'm quite yeah, close with yeah, he's a nice guy. Uh, Michael, not Michael Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Get, get on with him, Sean O'Sullivan. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a there's a lot a lot of players out there. Like, I mean, to be fair, the tour's full of quite a lot of top lads, isn't it? Really, there's not. Really yeah, many, yeah. Any, yeah. Any bad characters. I no. mean, obviously, not everybody gets on, but I mean, they're all quite quite good lads, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. We all, we all get along. We all say hi, and then, but yeah, we're, we're all the lads. 
Cracking Some stuff, of them. mate. Cracking stuff. Now tell us, Paul, what's your favourite food? Uh, coming from an Asian culture, probably Chinese food. It's, you can't beat it in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, there's there's a lot. I like Italians, I like Indians, I like, I like those, but probably to top it off, Chinese probably. Well, a little bit on the Chinese for a minute. Do you prefer like the, the westernised stuff that we have here or the, the proper authentic Chinese I food? Think, I, I, I like both. I like yeah. both, but... Because my dad, my dad's a, he, he's, he's been a chef for pretty much all his life. Okay. So at home, it's always homemade, homemade fresh things. Like even, even the day, the day before, we just, he always talks about ingredients, well, what to get, what we eat in, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah it's very cultural. Miles. Stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be stopping in the lamb household after this interview. That's where we're nice going. Dinner, mate. <laughs> Are your favourite drink, Bob? Um, I like I like a nice cup of tea. I like um, la I like lattes. Then I have a nice diet coke, waters. Yeah, it's anything really. Yeah, staying off the old alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't drink. Good man, good man. <laughs> now tell us, Bob, what's your favourite venue that you played at so far? Um, from the venues I've played at. I'll probably say the Barbican Centre in York. Yeah. I played there. I played there two or three times now in the main in the main venue, and that was unbelievable. Yeah, I think I played in the in Newport as well in the Welsh Open. That yeah. was that was it was very similar, but that was quite nice. Very, the atmosphere was very good. Yeah, both venues are quite open, aren't they? Like plenty, yeah, yeah. Plenty crowd in there, good atmosphere as well, mm. aren't they? I've I've heard that the temperature on is it in Berlin, oh, German awesome. Masters. Awesome. Yeah. Hopefully, qualify for this year and play there, but. Yeah, even like on the pictures and videos and stuff, it looks amazing. Yeah, I can definitely say the temperature is a special place. But you know, just as you mentioned that like, German tournament, what was your opinions of like the Paul Hunter Classic and the, and the crowds out there? How did you find? Oh, it? it's the, the the fans are ridiculous. There's so many fans out there. Even like you come a day earlier with the amateur rounds. Yeah. There's so many people there just watching because the love of the game. I think in Europe now it's 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 unbelievable. Yeah. And obviously when the pros come as well, it's it's packed. You can't literally move. It's yeah, it's. The atmosphere is ridiculous, yeah. especially Paul Nut Classic. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was amazing. Like from nine o'clock in the morning until ten. Yeah, yeah. Night, it's just packed. It's so enthusiastic, aren't it? It's amazing. It's unbelievable how, how it is in Europe. Yeah, yeah. It's in Asia as well. In Asia, it's even bigger as well. But yeah. All right, so UK fans, uh, start taking the European side of things and get out there. Come and start supporting the snooker guys. Come on. Now tell us, Anderson, when you actually get a chance to relax away from snooker, where'd you like to do so? Um. I don't really get time to relax at home, obviously, because you're travelling all the time, you're practising all the time, because every, every time you practice, you, you don't really spend much time at home, so it's, yeah, at home, spending with the family, relaxing. I like to play the online on the PS4, <laughs> play a bit for you for, yeah. I like, um, I recently got into um, UFC, I like to play UFC a lot, yeah, yeah it's unbelievable. Yeah, I love a bit of UFC myself, love yeah. it, mate, love it. Now tell us your favourite music to listen to. Um, I like all sorts of it. I like R and B, um, like the charts music, um, like the old school music as well. I like, like I prefer the like 90s as well. That's not too bad. Yeah. Just anything not metal. No. <laughs> Heavy metal's not for you, then. No, no, no. no I don't blame Metallica, you. Slipknot. No, that's not mine. Don't blame me, bro. Don't blame me. <laughs> I tell us, who was your sporting hero when you were growing up? Um, when I was growing up, probably Ronnie. Money, um, st likes of Steve Davis as well. Yeah. Obviously, you're watching them on TV. You just amazed how easy they make it look. Yeah, especially Ronnie. It's just it's a genius. It's, yeah, it makes the game up so easy. Yeah. 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 You're at home. You're just thinking you could play like that. You just admire how he plays and like the confidence he has. Yeah, well, I'd say Ronnie probably. Yeah, definitely a yeah. special, special player, Ronnie. Yeah, no doubt about it. Very. Now last question, pal. If you could run World Snooker, what changes would you make and why? I'd probably, um, when the draw comes out, maybe get it, get it out a little earlier. So then, obviously, people from travelling all different countries down south, or if, if the venue's here, is like get get it out so you can book your hotels and like get everything sorted. Where some sometimes like book the, the take the draw out literally about a couple of days before the event starts, and like yeah. you've got to book flights, you've got to book to hotels. It's yeah, it's. Very frustrating, especially when people like have to fund it themselves. Not look, not fortunate to get a sponsor. Yeah, so yeah, probably that. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I mean, I remember doing a Q and A with Alfie Burden recently, and he said the same thing. I mean, for, especially for us guys that live down south, travelling up all the all the qualifiers in yeah, Burnley, Preston, it's so hard for us. Even the even with the PTCs and you know, like yeah. Asian comps, 
flights are so expensive nowadays. It's 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 a joke how how expensive how prices go up quickly as well. So yeah, get the draws out as quickly as you can. Get flights booked. Get hotels booked, and you can we all be happy then. Great stuff. Now, well, Snooker, I hope you guys are listening because a lot of the players are saying the same things about draws coming up late, uh, giving giving guys a chance to book their hotels and flights earlier. So come on, guys. Well, Snooker, you're all great guys there. Work with the players, guys. Work with the players, please do. So, Anderson, thanks so much for your time, bro. No worries, Kurt. Anytime. You know that. And all of us at Q Sports Club want to wish you the very best for the coming season. Thanks, Kurt. Cheers, thanks mate. Cheers.